Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. Hey, what's up with the y'all? Iceberg Green in the building. So uh, today, I'm sure you see the thumbnail of the fall guy. And Mayor Shing Tao, and she got her one. And as you can see, you see how this is starting off already. So hey, hold, you know, stay tuned. But um, yeah, he inherited a lot. And I don't want to... You know, just, you know, think negative about the situation. I hope that this brother can restructure Oakland Police Department and get it together because they're responsible for a lot of bullshit that happened in the city. Um, and he's inheriting a lot. You know, I'm going to play some footage of a lot of stuff that's going on um, in Oakland. And I want you guys to see and understand what we have to go through um, when they put us in these positions. But uh, check this out and I'll be back. He has over 30 years of law enforcement experience under his belt. Mitchell previously served as police chief in Lubbock, Texas, among other cities. He left that job after his department was accused of not answering 911 calls. Oakland has had the worst 911 response time out of any city or county in California, leaving some callers waiting sometimes 10, 15, even 20 minutes for a dispatcher to answer. And for perspective there, the state standard is within 15 seconds. The fall guy. One man says hiring a chief out of town might be a challenge. You go on, on paperwork. You go on to what somebody then told you or passing on to you. But if you were down here in the roots with the other with the people, you would know the peoples. And so you know how everybody responds. The fall guy. Thank you for having me as your police chief and I look forward to seeing you in person. And I'm honestly starting to wonder why she picked him i mean does this fit the criteria of a police chief that we need and hey i love you know i love to support my brothers but man this is not a good start so here goes some footage uh the mayor of oakland um and she's announcing the police chief and look at the the, the i want y'all to look at her face and it's gonna make you feel this thumbnail look at this woman's face and it's gonna let you understand she's supporting this thumbnail and i'm gonna let you uh make your decision after that but me in my uh my opinion she hired this dude because he fit the criteria of someone that could be a fall guy chief mitchell is a strong leader and smart crime fighter who delivers results his commitment to proven crime reduction strategies including proactive policing and strong officer community engagement vaulted him to the top of the list the fall guy. Chief Mitchell replaces former Chief Laron Armstrong, fired last year after the mayor's office flagged issues of handling cases of misconduct. An independent investigation cleared Armstrong of any wrongdoing, but Mayor Tao said his attitude during the investigation made her less confident he could handle the job. Chief Mitchell takes over the agency at a time where public safety is Oakland's number one priority. The fall guy, that's the criteria that this brother and met. And I don't know um, right now um, how he's handling um, dealing with this uh, federal oversight. But to me, that's the one entity in all this that needs to be addressed. You know, we focus on who we're hiring, um, police chief, that, but it's always been that federal oversight that's just in there. And it never gets pointed out the role it's playing. And I think when these mayors get in there, these federal overseers, they're pretty much bigger than the mayor. So they're going to let her know, hey, this is what's going on. This is what we expect to stay going on. So you better find, you better elect somebody that understands what's going on. And I'm not saying this guy is not going to help Floyd Mitchell. I hope he does, but he's inheriting a lot. And if you don't understand the community, it's going to be rough for you. And when Oakland used to invest in the community, it thrived. They start spending money on uh, red line and these bike lanes and development and all this stuff. And they stopped focusing on the black community. We lost every type of resource that was helping us thrive along the way. You know, this started way back in the 70s, 80s. You know, they've been, you know, just twisting Oakland up until they got it where they wanted to. And right now, you, you know, people from the town, they see it. They walking around like this is not what I, I, I'm used to in my culture of Oakland. You can see it. Oakland is not the same, man. 
I'm from North Oakland, West Oakland, East Oakland. We rock and we have a, um, a energy. We have aura about ourselves that's attractive to the whole world. And everybody know that. Oakland is grassrooted. Everybody know that across this world. When you think of Oakland, you think of some dominant people that have done some dominant things on this uh, earth in the United States in particular. So when you think of Oakland, most people now they're thinking of crime. Oh, Oakland is bad. Oakland is actually a beautiful place if you know where to go in Oakland. See, and the media is always going to point out the bad stuff that's happening in, in Oakland. There's so many things happening in the inner city of so many black people that are making a difference and putting smiles on kids' faces and are invested in the community like uh, uh, Elaine Brown, for instance. And I'm going to do, I got a story I need to finish on her and she's doing a lot of things. We feel me? But uh, let me get back to this content. That was just one of the points I'm going to, I'll be back. <laughs> Taking a look at your screen, you can see the activity there, the sideshows and the police cars who arrived as well as a fire. At least three cars caught on fire during these multiple sideshows across the city. Those sideshows lasted for hours and OPD had its hands full trying to disperse them all as participants drove through alleyways, over sidewalks, through parking lots, all trying to evade arrest. The fall guy. They just did him. Uh, uh, they was just in Safeway on Mother's Day and... They had this um, ballot to recall Mayor Xing Tao. I signed it. Yes. The 911 situation, I signed it because can't nobody get no help in Oakland. They didn't hire the dude that just had this problem. It take an hour. I'm just, I'm over exaggerating, but the way it feel like an hour to get help. But um, there needs to be something done. And if someone gets this message and they want to um, send this to Sheen Tao, Floyd Mitchell, Robert Warshaw, whoever, I hope they get this message and understand that I'm not playing. There's some people I'm sure that feel like I do, but I'm speaking for myself. I don't need no other voices. I got my own. And what you're doing is out of pocket. That's a term we use, dude. You out of pocket. And you need to go. You're a cancer, Robert Warshaw and Xing Tao. You need to go too. Some people may be happy with you. But I'm not. And if they got a ballot to recall you, there's other people that's not happy with your ass. But y'all have a good one. You be the judge. And fuck these elected officials. Excuse me, man. I'm just playing. Y'all cool. Okay, so I just put it out there. And you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all.